at Y254 channel and at Brian Sakon on and the hashtag Y in the morning. Welcome back. This is the last conversation of the day and we are talking about matters of the heart and we've asked you a question on our socials to know your stories are men loving or not loving Valentine's Day and I'd definitely like to hear your feedback on that one. It's an interesting comment down below, below here. And I say, ma, si jana si... Well, be careful, bro. Be careful. All right. Uh, this one says, Monamu ni anzaje kufikiri ya mambo na Valentine. But it's about love. What's going on? Right? All right. Uh, this, uh, I'm a potter. But yeah, continue to interact with us and let us know where you're watching us from. On X is at Y254 channel and on Facebook, including Instagram as well. Now, I'm being joined live in studio by uh, Owen Odor. He's a student at uh, Pioneer University. Karibu sana, bro. Thank you very much. All right, let's get into it. Uh, story now, Valentine's. You know, uh, I read somewhere yesterday that, you know, there's a men's conference being <laughs> held. Yeah, yeah. This is the day after tomorrow because uh, on 14th is on Wednesday, yeah? So yes. I don't know if this time around it's also going to be a big event. Ama, where do you sit with it? Uh, basically, according to how the economy is right now, mm -hmm. I would uh, think as a man. But uh, at, the, at this particular point and uh, juncture of the state of the economy, so many men will tend to avoid uh, the Valentine things. Because you see, it's now a moment whereby everyone is trying to at least reduce his consumption during this moment. So I, f I feel like this men's conference is going to be full of people. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, personally for you, are you planning to do anything on that day? Yes, personally as a man, of course uh, as a man of interest in a uh, in love relationship, I have plans for this particular day. I have my own plans with that lady on this particular day. So. Mm. I'm sure. So you'll be gifting someone something? You know, the confusing part is a lot of people think that Valentine's Day is all about people who are dating or yes. into relationships. You could also be extending love to your mother, your father, your young sister or young brother, or even elder, or even cousin, even your grandma and your grandpa. So that's the confusing part. Uh, there's a comment here. This is the comment I was looking for. It says, from King Reg and Asema, all right. It talks about ati Valentine ya upenda nao ama ni ona umekuonyesha wanawake upendo sijaona sehemu mwanamke atampa zawadi mwanamme kuna kitu akiendi sawa hapa. Oh so it's it's always the man to gift. I, I think according to what King Reggie is saying here it's yes. always the man to gift the women not women gifting back. I don't know what do you think about this comment here? Uh, my thought on that comment is very simple. Mm -hmm. You see in love, there is nothing like uh, it's the man who gives. It is a two-way thing. I give, you give me. Mm. But just as you said, you see, Valentine's is not something of the people who are dating, like uh, the people who are engaging to be in a, in a marriage situation of life. You see, Valentine's is about expressing the love. So it's me expressing love to the person I feel I love or the person I feel loves me. So it can't be my mother, it can't be my brother. It can't be the lady I think I'll marry. So the lady you think you'll marry. Exactly. You're sure. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the lady I think I'll marry. Because you see, in life, interest goes and comes, uh, comes in you as you continue growing. So you'll find out, you'll come to reach a situation in life whereby you may lose interest in the lady you think you are to marry. The mm -hmm. lady may come to lose interest. You may meet to meet. You may come to meet another person whom you think it's the best than the person you are dating. Yeah. So that is why I have told you. It may be the lady I may be thinking to marry, mm -hmm. but again on Valentine's Day I cannot be on the basis of celebrating one lady that I think I'll be marrying. It's celebrating the person I feel I love, and mm -hmm. the person I feel you feel I love. Not not that it's so. You know you're talking like it's a one traffic way. You feel you love and yes. know that they love you, right? Yes, yes. So it's, it should just be you feel you, you love, not mm -hmm. they love you. Mm -hmm. Ama? It's a two-way thing, just as I've, say, uh, as I've told you. Okay, you see, love is a feeling inside mm -hmm. you. It okay. is not just waking up in the morning or, you know, calling a lady and telling the lady, you know, mm -hmm. I'm in love with you, I love you. No, it's the feeling that develops in the heart. 
mm -hmm. towards a particular person. Mm -hmm. So if you experience or you come to realize that uh, you are falling in love or you are getting interest into a particular person, then that's love. So if things go on well for you, boom, you are ready to share the Valentine's with the person. Uh, let me ask you an interesting question. Let's go back to Marta's love. Um, if somebody told you right now, um, I don't know who will be, but if somebody told you, I love you, if we were to break it down, this I love you, you know, there's somewhere I read that, you know, I love you from the wrong person can cause a mental breakdown. I don't know if you agree with me, but yes, I agree. I love you from the wrong person <laughs> can create an emotional breakdown. So let's, let's break this I love you. If somebody told you I love you, what, what comes to your mind uh, when they tell you the word I love you? And usually the response is I love you more, or for those that have no idea how to respond, it's like, yeah, Sam. I can only imagine the way it, somebody tells you here I love you, and then you say Sam. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the two, they're not mad thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically to me, the word I love you when I'm told by someone, what clings in my mind is that uh, there is an impact towards this. There's an agenda towards this person speaking this word, I love you. It can be one of a goodwill to you, and the second one, it can be a person that wants to take advantage of you. Or it can be a person that wants his own ambitions and has a mission towards you. So when someone tells me that word I love you from nowhere, you see, it creates suspicion in the mind. And you get to think and get to realize what may be the reason behind this. So it is out of this judging and out of this thinking that will make you think and make you realize if the love was genuine or if the love was from a wrong person. Mm. And obvious, a love from a, from a wrong person will result in emotional damage. Your kitty takurarua. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let's also get into who should tell you, I love you. Now that it's Valentine's Day, a lot of people will be told that. Uh, I think on Google it will be the most used uh, phrase in the whole entire world. Yeah. The word I love you. Or even also the word love. Yeah. So who should tell the other I love you? Or also just in general, in life, who can tell you I love you from your experience? Okay, from my experience and uh, from how I understand this thing, the person that uh, should be telling me how much the person loves me or the person that should be telling me this word, I love you, yeah. this is a person that maybe we may be having a contact with. Not mm. specifically a physical contact, but uh, a contact of a particular duration. Yeah. You see, I cannot meet you today in the morning, spend the whole day with you, then I come in the evening and tell you I love you. That is no, not it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. You've never yes. seen people who met on the same same day they got married the following <laughs> week, and it it still happily ever after. Okay. Ama, that happens in Disneyland. <laughs> okay, that happens, yeah. and uh, I've I've felt of and heard of such like scenarios. Mm -hmm. But you see, from my own perspective, yeah, I cannot fall in love today and get married tomorrow. Yeah. Because number one, in uh, getting into marriage and in getting into a love relationship. You have to understand the person you are with. Like, you must understand the person character-wise, what mm. the person lack, likes. So you, you, can you can't learn all this within hours. That is impossible. Right. Yeah. Maybe also we can go back to defining love before we get to stories of gifting, etc. Um, you're in campus, right? Yeah. And uh, in campus, for anyone who's been in any a uh, higher learning institution to say uh, at some point you've dated or you've been into a situation uh, for lack of a better word. Uh, so in that, in your experience, the ones you've been, was it love or was it a situation or was it just something that you had no idea? And would you <laughs> say that uh, this person you met in campus, maybe you're still with them, I don't know, I have no idea. Uh, also, I do not know the right age for people to start dating, but you can clarify on that as well from your experience. Yes. Uh, was it genuine love? Or is it just a fantasy? But I believe most of them are something called infatuations. Somebody is so obsessed with you, maybe they see you, you do something, they understand maybe uh, a little bit of your background, but they don't know who you are, so they just go ahead and say, I love you. And sometimes that's just on the surface, but when the real you comes to, you know, to manifest, they'll be like, no, I don't love you, I hate you. <laughs> exactly. But even though hate is a strong word. Yes. So I understand your question very well. And you see, 
I'm in campus, as you said. You see, in campus, I came to realize one thing. You see, when you're in campus, you have to set your own ambitions, like your own mindset will be the one to salvage you out of all this. Because you see, in campus, there are these positions, like, okay, beside being a student, I also engage in political affairs within the school. So you find that ladies within the school will tend to be attracted and uh, tend to get attention to the people who are so much in politics. Because yeah. you, you see... get the attention? Uh, yes. Okay. So so many will tend to be so close to you so that you can give at least a chance. So the aim is only one. You guys, you are in the office, you are going to get some cash at the end of the semester. So automatically, I'll be benefiting from you. Oh, so it's money. It's, it's money oriented. Money thing. It's not like it's money oriented. Oh, I it's like your leadership. Nene, no. nene. Yeah. It's money oriented. It's, en it's for enjoyment. All right. Yeah. So that is why, okay, like me, it's not like I'm not dating. Oh, you're dating, okay. I'm Good dating. Uh, yeah. I'm so dating. is it love or situationship? Is it genuine love? That is Can why you tell that fake love? That is, love? that is why basically I've answered that question mm. in that particular manner. So from is yours, I uh, want from yours. From is mine. It, is it genuine love? From mine, I feel, up to this moment, I feel it's genuine love. Okay. Because you see, I'm now heading to third year, and uh, this thing started all over. When I was in 1.1, I was a fresh at that point. 1.1, first year, first semester. First year, first okay. semester, new first in the school. You carried it out since I have year. carried it out till now. All right. But now, the most benefiting part is that uh, it's not from the same university. Because you see, you can never date a lady in the same institution. Mm -hmm. That is why when I'm married to a lady, we cannot work in the same institution. Is it bad? Is it good? Uh, to me, I'll take it as good to date a lady out of the same institution. What is the bad side of the same institution? Okay, there is this thing, it's very simple. It's, not, it's more of ironical, but you see, dating a lady in the same institution will lead to two things. Because you see, for a man, you'll tend to be neat all the time so that you can appease the lady. But is it not that normal? That's normal to be neat. It's normal to be neat, but you see, Sini Wanaume. No. Kunaile time, you see, there's that time you, when you have a lady, in the, like, you need to seek attention for but the right lady. Right now you're neat. I'm neat, yes. You're not appeasing anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a normal thing. I'm okay. okay, just let me explain it to you. And uh, I, I, I feel you'll okay, agree with ahead. me uh, at the end of this. Because okay. you see, dating a lady from the same campus, you'll get to do things in the normal manhood nature that will make this lady realize you're a real man. Okay. But so as a result, a yeah, you have to prove a point that you are a real man. Because you see, there is a big competition within this institution. Yeah. They are for years inside here, they are third years inside here. They are your fellow friends, those you call besties and uh, whatever. They'll be attracted to this lady. And you see, a lady does not fall in love. A lady develops love. It's oh. the man who falls in love. Take notes. You're <laughs> writing? <laughs> yeah. From how I believe it, a lady develops love. But a man falls in love. Yeah. So you see, if the lady was able to develop love to you, if you don't prove yourself, the lady will develop love towards the, safe, the, ne the next person. Yeah. So to me, I felt it that at the moment I'm trying to prove myself, to this lady. Mm. I'll be getting attracted to other ladies. So up and then you could have cheating moto san. Which is normal? It is normal, yes. But you see, if you are a man with your standards and uh, your visions and ambitions, mm. it's going to somehow damage you. How? You see, at the start of every year, every man puts a resolution in his life. And at the start of every journey, every man and every lady puts a resolution in its life. Mm. in her life. So you see, if you already start messing up from the point, mm. you are sure to be failing. Okay. Yeah. So that is why I was telling you, when you try proving yourself, it is at this point you get to realize, oh, I was in love with Elizabeth, but now this lady called Dorothy or Doreen is becoming so more beautiful than her, like in mm. the dress code. So you find at this particular oh, dress point... dress code can attract someone. Exactly. All right, take notes. The dress code. <laughs> take notes. The body. Oh, the body. You mm. see... The looks. Exactly. 
So you I see somebody men. saying I took a tall, dark, handsome, deep voice, six packs a <laughs> car. Seriously. <laughs> As in who gives that whole package? I thought I thought you walk the journey together. Yeah. Okay, to me, uh it's not like it's new to me to be listening to what you've just said. It's not new. It's, it's not new. <laughs> okay. Ladies will come tell you, oh you know, I need a tall, dark, handsome guy. But you see, men are not the same. But it still proves the point I was telling you that ladies develop love. Yeah, but also s just stick there. Yes. What is it with tall, dark, and handsome, whatever the other one is? I don't know the taste. Hmm? It w it's all a uh, matter of the taste. Do you see yourself in that uh, frame? Yes, Am I'm I tall. I'm okay. dark. Yeah. You guys <laughs> are taking notes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. L let's go back to story in Valentine's. I, I watched a conversation somewhere on... Um, I think it was on a podcast, and it was a Kenyan, it's a Kenyan podcast, and they're talking about the way Gen Z's are just jumping onto a person without knowing who they are. Somebody is on social media, they have a good profile, very attractive. Uh, they've highlighted the work at a certain institution, and you know, you get there, you fall, and you're like, hey, let's meet up, day one, day two, you get abducted, tortured, and then finally, you've disappeared. And uh, it was in the name of love. Love. Yeah. Do you feel like in this generation, especially right now, uh, a lot of people are not conscious, they're not doing their homework or doing their recognizance and trying to, like, let me learn this person first. Before even, you mentioned you, can't, you just can't meet someone today and tomorrow you're telling them I love you. Exactly. It will take time because exactly. you don't know who they are. Exactly. You don't even know if they're a monster. Right. Exactly. So do you feel like in this generation people fall in love easily? And what can just make someone fall in love easily with another without even caring uh, who they are, what they do? And where they come from. But uh, I hear they ask that question a lot. Where do you come from? <laughs> why, d why does it matter <laughs> where you come from? Yeah. So just to answer you, uh, I feel there is this thing that is pushing the youths currently to be really much falling into relationships that are maybe are not working to my thought. So these are relationships based on mindsets. So you'll find that uh, in a situation whereby Owen is uh, a guy from a rich family, or Owen comes to school with the Uber. So you get to think, there's this lady that will always be, oh, I, I like his lifestyle, you see? So we get to fall into the lifestyle of people. So we fall in love with the lifestyle of people mm -hmm. instead of falling in love with the real people. Okay. And see, this is what brings us into laziness and brings mm -hmm. us to the repercussions of falling in love with the wrong person. Yeah. Okay. Maybe exactly. if you can just explain how people are falling in love with the wrong person. Remember, we've mentioned I love you. Mm -hmm. The word I love you from the wrong <laughs> person could trigger a, a mental them. health uh, breakdown. Mm. So who is this wrong person you fell in love with in that context of wrong person to fall in love with? This wrong person you fell in love with is this person uh, you came met into your life, allowed him or her to be so much close to your life but you never took a chance to examine yourself at least know the person more before giving a yes or before moving into this relationship so there is this scenario whereby you now move into this relationship blindfolded then it is at this moment that uh, you, ca you come to realize that now this is not a relationship but a situation -ship. Because you see, after falling in love and giving the person an okay, you'll be thinking it's genuine love. Mm. But yet, there's, a, a, there's an agenda this man came with it on your life. Yeah. So you see, this is a wrong person to you. He's giving you a wrong I love you for you mm. to be lured into him. Then as a, res as a result, he's going to mind something nice from you. Yeah. But you know, you can be blindfolded. You, you use the word blindfolded. I think you can be blinded by, you know, what what it looks like on the surface. You might think this person is an angel. <laughs> you, you know, I've, I've, I've heard phrases like, I've never met someone like you. I like your voice. Yada, yada, wahala, buri, buri, buri. And all those things. But at the end of the day, this person is monstrous. Maybe they're narcissistic. Mm. They have family issues. Maybe they were sexually abused in the past and it has never healed. So the moment you start knowing them even higher and higher, some of these things start manifesting as anger issues, um, drama, you know, there's just people like they find things to so that they blame you, but you know, the issue is not you, it's them. 
So how do you how do you break this cycle or this chain? So uh, please, let's just sit down and address uh, the things you've been through, Kwanzaa, and then I can also alert your minds, and then mm -hmm. we can we can meet on the table now. We can march and see if we can be coherent or not. As just compared to you fell in love with this person because you like them. First impression, basic, yeah. Very nice. You see, that is why I told you in a relationship, it all depends with the mindset. You see, as a human being, as a man or as a lady, you must have that thing called the mindset, yourself, your own mindset, and your own standard. Because if you have your mindset set to a particular way, and uh, you have your standards and limits, you see, you can never get yourself in such like a situation because you'll be super cautious about yourself. Mm. Yeah. You are a person of uh, principles, so you have your own principles. Right. As a lady, you have your principles. As a man, you have your principles. For, for me to date such like a lady and reach in this particular situation with the lady, I must know the lady very well. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Uh, I had highlighted to you a question here. Yeah. Where do you come from? What, why does it matter? to ask where do you come from? <laughs> okay, where do you come from? It's very important. You see, I'm a low guy from okay. CIA. But uh, <laughs> you see, from my motherland, mm -hmm. it's very necessary to do that. And especially when you meet a Luo. All right. It's very necessary to ask where you are from. Because mm -hmm. you may be dating all along, you are in love, you are like madly in love with this lady. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, at the moment of introduction, you get to realize this is your cousin, this is your sister. Right. So where you come from really matters. Yeah. Yeah. Or even the better side, the president's daughter, who, who wouldn't be surprised? <laughs> <laughs> or ask me, I come from State House. Yeah, exactly. I'm the president's daughter, right? But Which to me, good thing. yes, to me... That uh, question matters, right? To me... It doesn't necessarily matter. Oh, it doesn't matter where they come from? Yeah, to me it doesn't necessarily matter. Okay. So long as you see, as a man, you must understand your lineage very well. Okay. You must understand where you are coming from. Mm. Then uh, when you meet a lady, you see, when I meet you and you tell me I'm the president's daughter, you see, I'll not be dating you genuinely. For real? I will what not will be dating you, you genuinely. To, what will make you to not date genuinely? <laughs> Because you uh, see... I mean, you'll be under some pressure of sorts. Exactly. Because you see, when you're already in love with the president's daughter, you are very sure uh -huh. the probability of you ending up with this lady is very limited. Why? Very limited. You see, there are these wealthy people who set their own standards for the people who can marry their daughters. Mm. So for your own peace, you have to consult yourself right. out of your standards and out of your mindset. If you are full enough and you are convinced that you are really madly in love with this person, yeah. then there is where now you beat the parents out of her. Yeah. What you if see, it's vice versa? Like the president's daughter reaches out to you and says, I want, I want you to marry me. You must understand the ambitions of the president's daughter to you first. Mm. Like You're not be running <laughs> there with all your family. and. <laughs> no, you can't run. The, the, the now, I'm now in love with the first, first, pre, uh, first uh, daughter. That yeah. you are now running there, umangugia uh, jackpot. Of course. Ineza kuramba. Ineza kuramba. Ineza kuramba ukifika mbele. What could uh, possibly happen, the worst, in that situation? <laughs> as we move away, <laughs> what is the worst that can happen? You see, in such like a scenario, what, what if the president just wakes up in the morning yeah. and decides that my daughter is going to Netherlands? Which is fine. They do that all the time. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. But you see here is a lady, uh, I used to study another book that, uh, I, did, I used to study another book of a rich daughter who fell in love with a comrade like me. Yeah. Then uh, as time went by and as, time, as these people graduated, you see, I told you at the start that ladies develop love. Okay. So me, from my own perspective, if a lady tells me I'm in love with you, he must understand the ambitions of the lady with me first. And as a corner hidden motive, I'm out. Exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine what it could be. Exactly. Uh -huh. The lady might be having a hidden motive. Uh -huh. The lady might be genuine. Okay. So, so for you to give in, uh -huh. you must carry out your experimentations. 
Okay. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Now, um, Wednesday, which is Valentine's Day, um, is it possible for some for you uh, to just find someone today? And vibe uh, is ila to a point Wednesday, you guys are linking up for a date. It's very impossible. Very impossible. Very impossible to me. Okay. Yeah. Because you see, just as I told you, love is not a one day thing or an hour thing. Mm. I can't just wake up in the morning because I saw a lady who is, so, who is not skinny, a lady who is blessed, a lady who knows how to carry out herself, and I fall in love the next day. It's very impossible to me. What if it's your soulmate? Because I hear you can even meet your soulmate <laughs> today and tomorrow you guys are tying the knot. Impossible. And I don't know if you've ever had stories of a soulmate. I've, I've had stories of a soulmate. Mm -hmm. But you see, if I meet you today, we're not going to celebrate this Valentine's with you. No, you'll celebrate alone. I'll celebrate the next one with you. Okay. Because I need time. the following year. Yeah, that is the next, too the next year. Too long. It's too long. But you see, though. there are yeah. so many occasions in within a year before the other one reaches. Mm. So if it was genuine and you were my soulmate as you proclaim or as the situation proclaims itself, you see, before the next one reaches, I'll have understood the kind of lady you are. Because yeah. you see, for a man, it's very necessary for you to understand the kind of a lady you are dating. Mm. You cannot just be blind, blind in a relationship. In a scenario whereby, after taking this lady and you are with her, kwa nyumba, yeah. the real characters of the lady, it's very, very weird. To me, it's very weird. All right. Um, uh, Wednesday still, to stick up on Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> there's so many things that happen during that day. Apart from seeing people crisscross the streets in the evening with flowers, uh, yeah. bouquets of flowers left right and center. There's those that go to the extent of even, you'll see celebrities surprising their other half with first class concierge cars. Uh, there's those that will be doing houses, they'll be doing, today I'm doing a house something, unveiling for, you know, my other half. Uh, for <coughs> a basic, let's say just a common one inch man, what, could, what are some of the possible things, good things that they can do for their better half? So uh, maybe just to, maybe in line with their budget and also maybe just uh, what they do for a living. Zilezenye is equal to affordable. What can they do so that their other half feels appreciated? Wonderful question indeed. You see, just as you've, as you've said, for the normal mwananchi, you see, here is a scenario of the financial status of yourself. Mm. So, for the normal mwananchi, I feel like uh, you can afford clothes, you can afford shoes, you can afford the uh, necklaces, watch, flowers, obvious, they are very cheap these days. See, you can just, you are, you know, in one evening, just move to town, take a bucket of flowers, then, uh, yeah, it's a surprise. You see, anything is a surprise. A watch, the lady didn't expect that. A necklace, the lady didn't expect that. A cloth, a dress, it's normal. Yeah. What about eat outs? Uh, do they count as uh, a gesture of love exactly. that day? Yeah. You see, you can take a lady for a date out of uh, your house. That is uh, basically a, a hotel. So you're taking this lady to a new place that uh, she's not used to. Or maybe she's used to, but not with you. Not with you, meaning she has somebody else. <laughs> not, 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 ne not necessarily somebody else. Uh -huh. You see, families are different, my guy. Uh -huh. So you find a family whereby the father or the mother takes children for outs. Uh -huh. So she has ever once been there, but maybe with the family members. Uh -huh. But now yeah. here you or come. Maybe uh, in the past she dated someone who had capacity. Exactly. Or maybe in the yeah. past she dated somebody who uh -huh. also did the same to her. Uh -huh. So you see. it's not new. It's why it's not new, normal stuff. but right. to you, in how you're going to bring it out, will be new to her. Yeah. Like, like for a man, you have to be unique. All right. If let Peter does this thing this way, Owen mm. must do this thing the okay. other way. All right, let me sample two comments and then we exit. Uh, yes, here it is. Okay.
from Peter Peter Kinaro ki anasema KC leo na Ivansha Kambinari iko locked in uzuri hiyo siku sisi wanaume tutaenda kwa 10 men's conference but the men's conference bado iko yeah it's, it's still there it's still there all right um Yasmin Faza ka fire boy anasema Valentine's Day ni wale wanabembelezana kwenye mahusiano <laughs> mapenzi wachanga wa, wa bado Kongo mie bora food shelter na club matters mpenzi okay I think that's in relation to uh, that topic. Uh, yeah. The rest, in a good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. The last one here, <coughs> present a Conaxit and Ajita Racha, Rachas, Racha Jose. All right, thank you. Kuna mgina pa mesema, mwanamu nanzaje kufikira mamba Valentine. Anaitua mabuka wa ingo. Is it a bad thing? <coughs> Does it water down masculinity? No. Because you participated in uh, a love shebang. No. Uh -huh. You see, to me, celebrating Valentine's, if you have a reason to celebrate it. Oh, it's a celebration. It's not like marking a, an event. Uh, no, it's a celebration. And uh, you see, it's being appreciateful yeah. to that person you feel you love. So mm. it's more of a, an appreciation. So I don't see where, by, where it could be so vague and uh, so bad for a man to celebrate Valentine's. Because after all, you are still a man. It doesn't mm. change your form. Mm. Yeah. So, was it Skize Amerix na Andrew Kibe? Kabisa. Yes, kabisa. <laughs> if you have a reason to celebrate it, mm. celebrate it. You see, most of the men, we take it wrong. Yeah. We take it just that uh, I need to celebrate Valentine's with the lady that I feel, oh. or the, with the lady I love. You see? Mm. Forgetting that it is appreciation for the people you feel you love. Or mm -hmm. the people you are in love with. I can't right. be in love with my mom. She has done wonders for me. I mean, I can't be in love with my dad. Uh, will so, you appreciate her on Wednesday for being your mom? Exactly. That is unquestionable. That mm. is... Uh, what about dads? I understand about moms. Nobody ever mentions dads, <laughs> by the way. Are you sicko? I love you. And, and I, I saw a skit somewhere how we, we, we are supposed to exit. But anyways, thank you so much for your insights. I can't continue <laughs> okay, beyond that. Okay, okay. Owen Odora, student from Pioneer University. Thank you for coming through. Yes, thank you. All right, at Brian Sako 101 on all socials and at Y254 channel on the hashtag Gua in the morning. And we'll see you tomorrow for health and innovation. No, innovation and entrepreneurship. We have changed things, by the way. So see you tomorrow.